Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Elmira Strange and I'm a research psychologist and a life coach. In the today's video, we'll have a look at five stages of grief. According to the well-known writer about the subject of grief and bereavement, Elizabeth Kubler-Ross, it was identified that we have five stages of grief. And they can be applied to anyone from any culture, any religion, from anywhere in the world. We all feel pretty much the same feelings when it comes to grief and bereavement. Grief can result not only from death of someone close to us or from our pet's death, but also from losing something that was important to us. For example, breakup, relationships. We all can go through those stages of grief. And the longer relationship was with that person, whether the other person separated from us or they died, in any case, we might feel a range of emotions. The first stage of grief is called denial. This is where we are unable to accept what just happened. This usually happens in some kind of tragic event where death was sudden and for a while the person cannot accept that event has happened, that the person is not alive anymore. But of course it can be applied also to relationships if for example the person have disappeared very quickly. So there wasn't any closure or communication in the end. You might feel abandoned and you might feel that you are unable to believe in what just happened, that the person is not there anymore. The second stage of grief is anger. This is a very emotional stage where we have a lot of energy that could be aimed at or directed at anyone or anything. We feel a lot of anger at the person who left us we might have thoughts such as, how dare you to do that to me? How could you leave me? I cannot believe you did this to me. And again, this could be applied to death or separation. And as I said earlier, uh, the emotions of anger can be directed at anything or anybody. And that includes God or superpower or the universe, where the person, for example, is saying, how could you take her away from me? This is unfair. Okay, and the third stage is called bargaining. This is where the person is saying or thinking something like, I will do anything to return that person back. This might include even, please take my own life, but return this person back to earth. Or, I will be really good, I will stop doing some kind of negative habits or some kind of drug abuse, um, I will stop swearing or mistreating some another person anything in return of that person who left when we are going through the stage of bargaining we also experience a lot of feelings of guilt because at some point we feel that if there is anything we could do at that point we could prevent that death or separation so the next stage of grief is called depression and these can last anywhere from days, weeks or months. This is where the person would cry, feeling empty, feeling extremely sad. They understand that what happened is inevitable. It cannot be returned. There is no bargaining anymore. There is no doubting. They are trying to accept the event that it happened. But it's experienced through a lot of deep sadness. The person might have difficulty with sleeping, with appetite, with finding any joy in anything that used to bring them joy. They might not see anyone. They might feel lonely and isolated. They might feel that grief is encompassing them. It's overtaking all their life. To the point they might not feel like living any longer. And the last stage of grieving is acceptance. This is where the person fully realized what actually happened, and that's irreversible. They accept that they will still feel sad, but they also realize that they need to move on with their life. Acceptance is the ultimate stage of grieving, and this is where we would like to be at some point when we're going through grieving. 
What I want you to know is that those stages might not happen in that order for everyone. The emotions might change from day to day. One day you might feel depressed and sad. The next day you'll be bargaining and asking to return that person. And the day after you might even doubt that it actually happened to you. You might feel hopeful, especially in cases of separation rather than death. You might feel that there is something you can do to bring that person back into your life. Many people believe that acceptance means we let it go. In fact, it's not about letting go. It's about learning to live with what actually happened and accepting the new reality without that person. Well, I hope you found this video helpful and useful in some way. And if you did, please like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.